Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duels. So today is Sunday, and that means we're using plus one fire fist hands. So, things have changed in the meta, definitely. Uh, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! pre and post, um... Uh, pre and post Primal Ordinance is definitely different. <laughs> if you can say it like that, um... Definitely, things are just different, just in general, just because, you know, decks that were good aren't good anymore, decks, that, uh, cards that were good aren't good anymore, and it's just, it's just totally different than, uh, what we were experiencing po- I mean, pre Primal Origins, so, one of the major things that shifts and changes is that Fire Fists are no longer that good anymore. They kind of fell off, and, you know, I was actually one of the, maybe one of the biggest advocates of, you know, uh, they didn't hit the right card in the deck, and uh, they definitely should have hit. Uh, uh... Oh gosh, I guess they definitely should have hit bear. But uh, you know, if I knew that you know fire fish were just gonna die out just naturally without you know the assistance of bear, then you know I never would have just you know said that um, the deck should have got hit with bear in general. That you know maybe Konami did make the right choice within Wolf War just for you know future. Uh, future plays and you know just a broader hit all right so obviously going up against chaos dragons the thing the thing that you gotta wonder though is his cards bluffs that is that is a bit is a big question are they actual no, no, actual back row They're actual back row all right I think you know, I thought that maybe they would be bluffs but no they're they're actual back row you know, Solemn Morning and Bottomless and up. Yeah, damn, both of them. Well, clearly I'm gonna block that. But both of them? Both of them. Solemn Morning and Bottomless in the same damn. In the same damn turn. That's, uh, that's, that's good. Starting it off great. Like freaking Captain Crunch up in this bitch. Just, that's not Captain Crunch. That's what? Tony the Tiger? <laughs> yeah. I'm unprofessional. Uh, what should I do right now? Thinking about maybe making a one on one, taking his card and then attacking it because I know it's a freaking Raikou. So if he tries to pop me, I can block it. And if he tries to pop the Reckless, I'll just chain. Or should I get set up for later? No, I can get set up for later. Later. I will kill two birds with one stone right now. So Light Swords is actual back row. You don't see that very often because Light Swords don't have room to be running actual back row. So that's interesting. So go ahead and flip up your Raikou. I don't really care. Oh, it was a Necro Gardener. All right. Oh, never mind. It's Chaos Dragon, but still. Those decks generally don't have room to be running actual back row, so to see him actually running back row in his deck is, uh, I'd say, you know, interesting, in the least. Uh, sure, I'll go ahead and detach. You know, but definitely, uh, Fire Fist kind of fell off, uh, with, you know, Fire and Ice Hand, uh, definitely have made a change, you know. There's not much Bear can do against Fire and Ice Hand, you know, you got you're gonna be popping the bears with fire hand and the tankies and stuff you're gonna be popping with ice hand so you know you're just gonna have a constant fuel and arsenal of his cards to pop so uh that's definitely a problem that uh the deck is facing another big problem that the deck is facing is uh ragnar zero definitely like ragnar zero uh is another one of those cards that for some odd reason it's a rare yet it's so good that it deserves to be better than a rare you know uh uh, one of the key uh, cards like that, or like what uh, a Crimson Blader, you know, definitely one of those cards like that. There's another one too, but I really oh uh, that Leo card, that uh, 3100 guy, he was also rare. And it's just like these cards are so good that they, they could be secret, and you know, no one would even you know bat an eyelash at those cards being secret rare. Yet they're for some reason rare, and they're really good. And Ragnar Zero is of course one of those cards. Where pretty much Ragnar Zero just raffle stomps all over freaking uh all over freaking uh all over Fire Fist because of course with Tenki and the boost and you know just one Tenki and all of a sudden you're just having boost out the ass. It's just 
not really healthy from the deck, so, yeah. And it's generic too, Ragnarok, so pretty much at this point, uh, pretty much people have gotten off the high horse of, you know, uh, plus one virus. Beautiful mill. Beautiful mill. That was beautiful. BLS scores and dark armed. Awesome. For some odd reason, we have like these numbers on our name now, I don't know why. Seriously, you just do the dark hole, just to do nothing. It, just, it, was, it, was, it wasn't the best of plays, it was really kind of dumb. I'll play it. I'm up on resources, so I'm totally good. I'm totally set. Sure. Quickly, just running out of resources, sir. I mean, at least he said plague spreader. I'll go ahead and pot Thunder King, Ryo, Tanky, or Firehand. Um, Firehand. Just in case he tries to get a little bit cheeky with it. Na 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 na. Getting cheeky with it. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Anyway, uh, just certain things are just different. Fiendish Chain, for example. Fiendish Chain used to be, you know, a staple to be run at 3, and now it's kind of fell off as well. It's not as good as it used to be either. It's kind of sucks. I mean, this deck still has Fiendish Chain because I'm just too lazy to update it to the new better card of Breakthrough Skill. Uh, and because of Breakthrough Skill being the better card, now people are, well, you know, using Wiretap more with whole, you know, the whole wiretap thing. I mean, I got you beat at this point. You might as well quit. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you open up with warning and bottomless and steal these. Awesome. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get another duel in. Be right back. All right, we're back. You know, so, you know, you got to run the wiretap because people are running break the skill. You know, it'd be better to go ahead and put the break the skill, put the card back in your hand than, uh, you know, uh, just take it on the chin and later when it's in the graveyard. So, that's one of the key reasons. I know I did a YouTube video discussing, uh, you know, wiretap versus uh, uh, seven tools, and I said that I like seven tools because I like getting rid of the card, but now, uh, when you look at it from, you know, uh, the, the point of view of the change, obviously wiretap is the better card because, you know, people are going with the breakthrough skill. You know what one of the funny things about me using Reckless is? No matter what deck that I use Reckless in, I never open up with multiple Reckless. It's always just one. Isn't that weird? How it's always just one Reckless? How it's never, you know, multiple Reckless side? Like, you know, people say Reckless is broke because you open up with multiple of it, but I never open up with multiple of it. Not that I'm saying that's not good at one, because it's still a good card at one. Because, uh, if you think about it, it makes, your, it makes you uh, ahead of your opponent by pretty much two cards. If you think of it in that retrospect, right? you're two turns ahead of your opponent. Those two turns can be very important in setup. No, go ahead. I'm fine. So what are we doing against? Oh, we're doing against heroes. Shadowmas. Oh, you're gonna mass change it up into what's this? Into uh, Dark Law. That's fine. That's cool. That's how he looks like? I never really looked at the picture. How the hell is that like a dark law with the fucking rainbows and shit? Like, ooh, sparkly rainbow dark law. Nigga. Doesn't look like anything. Ooh, you got me. You got me. You got my fire hand because clearly I can't freaking, you know, I have to be sent to the graveyard. So that's, that was, that's cute. That's cute. I mean, the biggest problem with your plan here is that I have another bear, so... That's a thing. I can't send to the grave. I can't send to the grave. I can't send to the grave, therefore I can't use bear effect. Fuck! That's fine, I'll make 101, but seriously. Gotta inactivate pot, right? Come here. This is bad. This is bad. Fucking Dark Law. <laughs> that was bad. See, that's another card that hurts fucking Fire Fist because you had to send to the grave. It's like activating fucking Macrocosmos. Like, the struggle is fucking real right now. 
Go ahead. That hurt. That hurt. I must admit, that hurt. I couldn't even, you know, bear throw a chair because you have to send the chair to the graveyard, but it said it's card spirit. So essentially, you just activate macro on me. That hurt. I must admit. That hurt right here. So now my freaking shit's banished. Why does everybody keep on freaking dark holing 101? Why? As if I'm not gonna avoid the destruction. Whatever. You know? It's weird. Watch him get my bear with, like, bottomless or something, and then that'll be all my bears. The struggle would be so fucking real that... It's rental. Is that why you want to do it? <sighs> I should've got the MST. I was I got a little bit too greedy. That was my fault. Well, you know, I still got wolf bark and now I got at least I have a bear in the graveyard, so So got Dark Hole, got Torrental, got almost every of the limited card, so that's good. I'll take it. Wow, no more background? That's a surprise. Totally thought you were gonna play some background. <sighs> Let me see my extra act. What do I got in here? Kagu might be good. Yeah, when in doubt, go for Kagu, even though I never really go into his ass anyway. No. No, Tiger. Tiger can at least give me another tanky. I mean, I at least got one. I got, at least I got a freaking, uh, what's it called, left. But that hurt. That hurt bad. Like, the struggle on that one was real. Who would have thought, you know? I mean, I'm not planning on losing this duel. I'm still planning on giving this guy a good fight, but... I perk him pretty much at any fucking moment. He could turn around this damn duel. The call the hunts is fucking pretty much worth... No, not worthless, because like I said, I still have at least one bear, so that's good, but... Seriously. The struggle right now is just like... Ugh. Dark Law did more work than I gave him credit for. <sighs> well, he doesn't have any more torrentals at least. I wouldn't be surprised if he had bottomless. Another Fiendish Chain. No, you're gonna put the Fiendish Chain on him? Hey, I guess. Get rid of that one, then. I don't give a shit about him. He served his purpose. I don't give a shit about him. Do I have any more tankies? Actually, I do. I just have one more tanky. I got no sin to search, though. I do not know why you fiendish chained him. Maybe it was a misclick? to you.
at this point, that's probably game. I'm so up on resources that you might as well just scoop it up, but... It's not over until the fat lady sings, right? <laughs> I'll do that. I'll take it on the chin. No. You can't play anything. You don't got any responses. This is tied down to this. You can't play this. Exocon defects is negated, so... You no, know, not really much you can do, except for quit or just allow me to beat the shit out of you. Uh, heroes are decent, I guess. Effect is still negated. So I'll take it on the chin. Yes, I'll pop your th this fiendish chain, and I'll go ahead and summon a fire hand. Freeing me from the fiendish chain and allowing me to run over your exiton. Too bad you already used your dark hole on. 101 with still an attachment. Cause that was smart. Nope, not in cowboy territory yet, so you got lucky this time. Nah, no, I'll just end. So go ahead and top deck into something. So Armageddon Knight's gonna send, uh, and uh, Shadow Mist, and you're gonna search, that's totally fine. Because then that totally means that I got you. Oh no, you're gonna make Bubble, you're gonna get Bubble Man. That's cute. No, what? I thought you were gonna get Bubble Man and special summon Bubble Man. So you pretty much just quit. Yeah. I guess you're only running one Bubble Man? I guess you were thinking that even if you got Bubble Man, special summon it made a freaking exit on. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. I'll tell you the truth, I probably if you had made a, if you had a second exoton, you would have done that. It probably would have activated reckless and drew more two more cards, so I could be two turns ahead of you. Even though filled out completely wiped, you'd have no cards. I'd have four in my hand, so and a turn to end a dark hole, not including with that draw. Hopefully into more high ice. Oh, and then also the fire hand would go off and pop the exoton, so I have an ice hand. Yeah, that'd be game anyway. Even if he did go for another exoton. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it a session. So. Like I said, things are changing. The Meta Chef is interesting, so it kind of sucks that Fire Fists aren't as good as they used to be, but, you know what, I didn't really like the deck anyway. really wasn't a big fan of it. So, for them to be, you know, not as meta anymore, that's good. Uh, just because no one's going to be playing Fire Fist doesn't mean that you shouldn't be uh, running Ragnar Zero, because you've got to keep in mind one of the top decks that's being played right now is Madoches. So, you can go ahead and pop one of the Madoches uh, because of their field spells, so keep that in mind. So, um... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. And like I said, despite Fire Fist not being uh, that good anymore, I'm still going to keep this deck on. I, I have fun with it. I enjoy it, so we're just going to keep it on. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow uh, lining up with Lunar using, ironically, Medochase. Not meta version, not with the trap tricks or the artifacts or the hands or anything like that. Just pure, unadulterated Medochase. The Royal Decrees, because fuck back when I'm tagging, just Medochase. Also doing some kitsy plays that, you know, regular Medochas don't do, such as Insta Fusion, uh, uh, Marauding Captain, etc, etc. So thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.